3650 days. Very long time for humanity. But what about wine? To answer this question, I'm presenting to you my newest project. 10 years in the bottle of wine. Okay, so the videos of this project will be divided into three parts. In the first one, I will give a detailed analysis of two vintages in this situation 2006 and 2016 and how they were for the winery and uh, for the region overall. In this situation, it's Saint Emilion. In the second, I will tell you about the winery and how it's changed in the decade. And lastly, I will taste and compare the two vintages. There's a plan in everything, kid. And I love it when a plan comes together. So 2006, even though it produced some well-made wines, it suffered the comparison to the textbook perfect vintage 2005. And this is the reason why for some people it is a less memorable vintage. Bordeaux Right Bank performed much better in this vintage just because all the growing season was hot and dry and before harvest it got a bit cooler and humid. So it's not a big surprise that Pomerol and Saint Emilion did well because they are used for this kind of weather. Even though this wine is 15 years old, according to the winemaker, just because it took a very long time for it to open, it can still age for another 5 to 7 years. 10 years later, vintage 2016 is considered to be one of the best in the decade. <laughs> It started with a rainy spring which switched to the dry summer with cool nights. Even though it resulted into small, thick-skinned, ripe and tiny grapes, the amount of good quality wine was very impressive with 770 million bottles in the whole Bordeaux region. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. This wine is expected to age for another 20 to 25 years. Heading to the winery Comon de Jacobon, history goes back to the 1389 when it was established by Dominican Friars on one of the highest points of saint emilion Skipping a few years of the complex history, we jump to the 1902 when the property was bought by Jean Jean and now it is managed by the family for four generations. Looking closer at what happened between 2006 and 2016, first of all, improvement of quality. Winemakers renewed the vineyards, keeping the same quality but having higher output. Second thing, they reduced the size of vats because before 1.5 hectare was fermented in one vat and because of the vineyard diversity, they changed it to one hectare for one vat. And from 2016, it's even lesser with 0.5 hectare for one vat. And the last change is the addition of of Petit Verdot. From the vintage 2014 to bring some new colors they decided to add Petit Verdot which was also partly because of the climate warming so the grape can finally ripe to the desirable level. According to the winemaker the worst vintage of the decade was 2013 and the best was surprise surprise the earlier year 2012 so we can see some tendencies that after excellent vintage comes a crappy one. This data makes no sense. Finally, the tasting. We have Comon de Jacobon 2006 with a blend of 75% Merlot, 25% Cabernet Franc and 30% of alcohol. It was aged in 35% new oak and 65% old French oak barrels for 12 months. On the younger side, Comon de Jacobon 2016 with a blend of 82% Merlot, 11% Cabernet Franc and 7% Petit Verdot with 14.5% of alcohol. It was aged in 55% new oak and 45% old French oak barrels from 12 to 15 months. Let's taste them. Starting with 2006, it has medium intensity cherry color with watery hue in the nose. Medium intensity aromas of uh, plums, red berries, ripe figs, chocolate, vanilla, old wood and barnyard. Mouth has medium plus acidity, medium alcohol and medium mature but soft tannins. On the palate, mix of dried red berries. And 2016 has medium plus intensity garnet color on the nose. 
medium plus intensity aromas of dark plums, blackberries, blackcurrant, black chocolate, fresh wood and black spice. Mouth has medium plus acidity, medium plus alcohol and firm but still youthful tannins. On the palate, taste of blackberry mousse. If I would need to pick one of these, I would uh, take the younger one. Just because I am still learning to appreciate older, more settled wines and I definitely agree with the winemaker that this wine has lots of potential to age for another 20 years. Let me know in the comments what you think about vintages 2006 and 2016. Like, subscribe and follow. Salute!